Okay, we have a design project where you guys are going to play with rhinestones or grommets or um, rivets or even spikes, but some kind of little design detail to make a garment and get creative. Here's some inspiration examples I pulled. You can choose any garment category. If you'd like to do special occasion wear, this might be a great opportunity to do rhinestones there. If you'd rather do like a motorcycle spiky jacket, this one has grommets if you zoom in on it. Um, there you go, grommets. And then this one has rivets and this one has spikes. Um, or maybe a top with rhinestones or some kind of country western jacket. There's lots of options. Um, it's up to you. I want you to be creative and do what's you know best for your design aesthetic and we'll build your portfolio. But the technical part is um, working with OBJ files and turning them into the top stitch brush. So I know we've been introduced to the top stitch brush in previous classes, but we're just gonna dive a little deeper um, creating your own. So this video is great. This is a wonderful refresher. Please watch it. And then I'm gonna kind of go through it um, myself as well. Um, well. Okay, let's see here. I should probably delete all of this to kind of get started. So basically you're gonna work using your internal line tool to design whatever your design is. Okay, so just for simplicity, I'm just gonna do a very simple little curve. Okay, and I will double click and delete. Ah, oopsies. Okay, turn, click. Oh dear, try that. Oh, I'm on the wrong tool. Internal line, there we go, keyboard shortcut. I should have just hit G, that would have been easier. There we go, now I can hit return. I have my little line there, and then you're gonna go to the object browser and look for the top stitch button. You'll see there's a default top stitch. Um, you can copy it if you want, or go ahead and change it, and you're gonna find an OBJ file to add. So to do that, whether you choose spike or rhinestone, or whatever it is, you'll want to go to the internet and find your OBJ. But the only thing is when you look, if you go on the Clo Connect store, which they make it pretty convenient by putting the link right here. Um, by the way, you are going to, to upload it, you'll go to specification, shape, and it defaults custom. You'll add this, but you need the OBJ file. And if I click here, we'll find lots of trims. Um, you can type in rhinestone mm -hmm. and we can do free. And the thing is though, it's going to save it as a trim file. It's not going to save it as an OBJ. So we have to do a little work to get it to be an OBJ. Um, you can also search the internet to other websites too, if you'd rather, or if you make your own OBJs, that works too. So click the one you want. You have to add it to your cart. Um, and then you can go to your cart, connect, check the terms of service. You do have to have a free account, place your order, and then it's available to be downloaded. Okay, so I'm downloading mine. Um, then you got to figure out how to upload it. So I have my downloads folder actually saved here. I'm going to go to my finder because I think it's going to save it as a zip. And I'm going to go to downloads. And there it is, it's a nail head, and they put it in a zip file. So I double clicked it, and there we are. It's .trm, right? It doesn't have the OBJ, which is what we need. So I'm gonna, let's see here. Maybe I should get added this. Let me go to material, just kind of click material, click downloads, kind of refresh it. And I am very unorganized here, aren't I? Okay, so N for nail head. Let's see here. Okay. Great, and there it is. So I can double click it and it will add it or actually what I should do, I'll say add to workspace and I'll say open. Okay, so here it is, it's very small. I'm gonna zoom in. It is selected, which is good. And it's facing this way um, forward. So what you'll do, you'll go file, export as OBJ and do select it since it is selected right now. Give it a name, uh, nail head maybe, save. And then all of this was just fine for me. I really didn't have to change much here. So I'm just gonna close this out so I can just say, okay, and it's saved. Now, when I imported it, it was tilted funny. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna go back to my top stitch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the default one. 
and under specification shape is custom i choose my plus sign and then here is where i can upload my obj file so I'll click that there it is nail obj open do you see how it's not facing the right way i can invert it but that's not good i need it to be 90 degrees turned or it's really not gonna work so I have to say cancel, and there's no way I can do it here. I, unless you guys can figure it out, let me know. But it looks like you can only invert like 180 degrees. You can't do 90 degrees, which is kind of annoying. So anyways, that's okay. I have it opened here and I can just go ahead, make sure my little red guy is selected and try to just turn it 90 degrees. Oh dear, that was really sloppy. I'm gonna hit, okay, I might just hit edit and do. Let's try this again. Let me zoom in. Okay, there he is. Okay, I'm gonna rotate it. There we go. So it's like sitting flat on the ground is what you want. Okay, there he is. He's selected. File, export, export as OBJ, the guy that's selected. Nail, um, I don't know, face up and save. Great. Okay. I'm just gonna say okay let's try that again so default top stitch I'm gonna change uh, the shape under specification from custom well I'll leave it to custom but I'll add my plus sign and that gives me access to my obj file nail face up open okay and this still looks oh dear oh there it goes there it goes yeah that's what I want I was zoomed in too much but I zoomed out that's the way I want it okay now we're in business so now I can use my tool, my top stitch tool, I'm gonna click the number two, and I can uh, select my internal line. And there we go, I have my nail head. And then now you can really play with all of these properties which you'll see in the video from Clo, the demonstration video. Make sure you select the top stitch and you can change your material. Um, you know, the gem is really fun, they have glass, they have glitter. A lot of this you're only going to be able to see in the render window so don't forget to go to the render to see it you can change the color um, as well say apply close and you know I'll just go ahead and do render real quick to see what I'd have here okay did that work oh I'm sorry I'm gonna do that one and I'll say stop and redo The lighting's kind of funny. I don't know if I do like it as the gemstone. So I'll probably actually go back in and play with maybe metal. What if I did metal instead? I think I might like that better. Whoopsies. So anyways, your job is to play with all these options, come up with a cool design, um, and you know, find an OBJ file to use. So reach out if you guys have questions. I'm excited to see how this design project turns out.